What's going on guys? This is Brandon Wong coming at you guys live from PBX 2024. I had so many requests for you guys to see Tortilla and we wanted to do something a little informal so we got the little iPhone mic here doing a little iPhone recording and we're gonna walk through all the features of this amazing new booth. So just before we start, we've been working on this thing for two years now, interviewing customers who own 360s, people who want to get a 360, truly trying to understand what would make this an absolute best add-on for your business in 2024 and beyond. And as I said in the demo, there's a lot of searches coming in for 360. So even if you have just still boost right now, getting a 360 inherently was gonna get you an inundation of leads coming in for people wanting that extra service. And of course you can cross sell those people looking for 360s, getting your still units. And of course the still people will also eventually cross sell to get 360s as well. So just a wonderful addition to your business, I think. Let's start with the details here. Looking at the top, this is where you can mount your iPhone, your DSLR, your iPad. You can really do anything on here with a custom camera mount. So anything you can put on a tripod, you can put on this head unit right here. And of course, you can also twist this and tilt up and down. I have only one hand, so I can't really demonstrate anything right now. Um, and of course, you can also telescope this up and down and also use this knob to tilt and rotate this as well. It's a really, really seamless transaction. Um, the really cool thing about this is if you want additional better quality, you can definitely use something like a DSLR. But honestly, we've tried to GoPro, DSLR, iPhone. iPhone is the way to go. It has an amazing quality. It has 120 frames per second, 240 frames per second. It has really crisp images. And honestly, what makes your 360 capture stand out is not really the capture device, although that's important. It's the lighting. You're always going to want to have external lighting in your units. And what that does is it creates a lot of highlights, shadows, depth. It has an incredible cinematic look to it. If you have a, a light just attached like here, the light's going to look flat. So let's say Amber's going to stand in front of this light coming right now. It just looks a little dull, right? But if you turn to the side of here, this is a lot more dynamic. So we recommend having at least three lights set up. I know right now we have two. Um, and we want those to be external. And what these external lights do as well is it creates a beautiful perimeter so people know not to walk in the danger zone here. So there's a lot of good purposes for having these external lights. If you want to zoom in here, Amber, you can also see these little threads here. And this is where you can actually attach an accessory mount. So this is where a great way if you want to add, add an arm for an iPad, you want to put a battery pack on here, um, and anything else that you can dream of. You can actually manufacture something on your own to really build this out. Um, I personally put um, a battery pack on here, an iPad mini, and a DSLR, and it worked great. But again, my personal preference, iPhone. Less weight on here, it's more stable, the better. All right. So let's talk about assembling and disassembling the booth just really quickly here. I'll talk about that a little bit later in the end. But most other 360 booths in the market, especially talking to other customers here who have other 360s, they say their setup is a long time. They claim it takes 10 minutes, but it really takes 30, 45, or even longer. And it usually requires two or more people. So let me show you how you can assemble and disassemble this right now. Check this out. That's it. It's really that simple. You just is one piece to attach to this. And of course, there's a power supply too, which I'll touch upon in a second. But that's it. A lot of times you have all these other parts, moving things that you need to set up. It's just one arm, plug it in, you're ready to go. If you want to look down here, there's also, where is it? Where is it? On this side over here, Amber, sorry you're gonna be able to see our power supply, which you actually can tuck underneath that platform. And you're also gonna see the ability to access our Bluetooth controller in there. Um, and also is RF. So here's the remote that you can control that we have RF. So a lot of people ask, do I need to use the Fiesta software or Salsa app software with the tortilla? That's not the case. You can use whatever software you want. But the thing is, if you use Fiesta software, that allows you to control a Bluetooth on here, which can automatically adjust the number of rotations, how fast you want to go, excuse me. But if you don't want to do that, you also have a remote here. And here you can actually increase the speed, decrease the speed, increase the amount of rotations, and decrease the amount of rotations as well. So just like you would with the Bluetooth controller. And here you can also start and stop. So come over here, Amber. Now let's try to take a capture. So most other 360s requires sometimes a laptop and a whole other setup and cords and cables everywhere. This is just a very seamless experience. And 
when we uh, start the unit, most people have to tap the screen, press go, and then press um, some sort of remote. For us, this is actually controlled via motion. So let me actually press this here. It's gonna start going. So that was a capture here. It looks incredible. I'll, I'll stand on here and show you the full capture in a second. But essentially, it's a really seamless experience. You as an attendant will just press the go button when the guests are on there, and it immediately starts capturing. It's just one button, and you have that experience ready to go. This is really nice because you don't have to, again, have all these cables and laptops set up and all these other things and have a two-step operation. It's really seamless. All right, so I'm going to delete this, and then I'm going to... Actually, Chase, come on here. Chase is one of our incredible photo booth strategists here at Photo Booth Flyco and currently our amazing model. So we're going to go on here, just like this. Hey, guests, come on here, and then press go. There we go. It's going to rotate around and start the capture process. There we go. Whoa, amazing. And if you can capture that a little bit, you can actually see, we tried to create the countdown timer really large on the screen and be able to, as, an, as a, a guest attendant, um, see when it's capturing. And you can see how fast the processing is. Uh, most other 360 software requires a 30 second, sometimes a minute long processing time. When Chase steps off and shares this um, capture with himself, it's ready to go. There's no lag time and it's just truly incredible. Uh, our engineering team works tirelessly to create the fastest pro video processing ever. And we're actually gonna translate the video processing over to the other video captures of Fiesta app too, which is coming out. So really, really excited about that. So sharing here, email, all that fun stuff. And if you have a Salsa unit or have another iPad, you can actually use that as a sharing station too. So we're gonna walk over here. This helps make the line go a little bit faster. And internet is always notoriously slow at this conference, but this is running Fiesta's new sharing station, which looks absolutely beautiful. And the images would capture and send right over here. And now we're gonna show off the carrying case. So this carrying case is, I think, my favorite part of Tortilla by far. So if you look at all the other carrying cases from our competitors and just 360 boosts out there, the case is an afterthought. Um, they don't really consider how important it is to be portable. And when we created Tortilla, one of the biggest things we wanted to do is you can have this completely be set up by just one person. Not two people, not a team of five, just one person. And we really had to rethink how to package this and transport this in order to do such a feat. So if you look at the nature of a 360 platform, you can fit a lot of people on here. Chase, come on up here if you don't mind. Let's do it. So we have two people on here right now. I can find a few more. I could. I wish I could. But you can fit at least another two people on here, right? One here, one here. Exactly, exactly. I've seen up to six people on here, although we officially say only three people should be allowed on here, right? But ultimately, at an event, you really want like one or two people, or three people max. That allows the most freedom of movement on there and doesn't get awkward. So that's why we created a platform this size because it can fit in any sort of sedan. We've actually measured it and tested this with a bunch of other different types of vehicles, and this fits perfectly in there. So let's go back to comparing this with other 360s. So normally, the operations for the other competitors, you have to lift this up and slide this into some sort of pizza box sleeve. You know, the ones you get from Pizza Hut and stuff like that? Like, how are you supposed to lift this up, one person, or even two people for that matter, 50, 60, 70, 80 pound, 100 pound platform and slide that in here. It's impossible, yeah. impossible. So we thought about a better way. It's so much easier as a 360 to be able to just go and deadlift this up in a vertical way. And then I like to call this the black carpet here. And I'm not gonna demonstrate this now because the cords are in the way and that's all set up. And you can watch the setup video online. But I put the black carpet here. You would then bend down, lift this up, right onto this cushy platform so it doesn't scratch, and then you just roll this right in. It is the most incredible experience ever. And if you look directly in the middle here, I'm gonna to try to end this little lighting, you can actually see a sleeve in there. And that's actually where the arm goes in. So as I said before, this platform is really heavy duty. This is, can actually protect against falls, damages, and from both sides too. So why not have this actually be what protects all the inside units here? So instead of making the big, bulky, super heavy plastic carrying case, we decided let's use the natural structure of tortilla to protect it. So you just get the arm, extend it down, 
and slide that right into the middle section here so it's nice and protected. And if we're gonna come to the other side here, Amber, you can also see you have an accessory sleeve on here. So this is also beautiful because this is also protected and sandwiched by the platforms as well. And this is where you're gonna store your lighting, your iPhones, your camera mounts, or whatever you want here, business cards, etc. All right, so almost done with this here. You're gonna see across the board here, premium materials and great grab handles here. And these grab handles are placed in very strategic locations. But my favorite grab handle actually comes in the form of these two right here. So getting this carrying case and a uh, 360 into a car by any chance is very, very difficult to do uh, for most competitors. But we developed a really seamless way. We use what I call like the, the 360 deadlift handles. I just coined that phrase right now, actually. So we're, what we would do now is bring this right next to a trunk and then you would just bend over, grab these two handles and then just lift up and into the trunk. So I'm gonna demonstrate that one more time. So doing a deadlift, that is like tomorrow is the most powerful move anyone can do. That's the most amount of weight anyone can lift. And that is a really seamless experience. I've actually tested this with a lot of different people, all sorts of shapes and sizes, getting into my lifted Bronco. Broncos are very tall, very beefy SUVs. And this is able to get in there no problem with everyone I tested it with. And it doesn't get to break your back either. So those are the biggest benefits of Tortilla. There's a lot of amazing quirks and features that you can see online at photoboothsupplyco.com. Head on over to that landing page. Check it all out in detail. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward for you to add an amazing 360 booth to your photo booth arsenal.